Okay, let's go through the case all right, that we are going to use to explain how to create the composite primary key in, well, we are using uh, Microsoft SS. Okay, so over here, I got uh, two table. All right, so you have class table, you have a student table, and this table have a primary key with some fields. This table have the primary key with some field. And you have a registration table. All right, and this is basically like a ER diagram. All right, entity relationship diagram, which only has two field. Right, which is associated with the two primary key, student ID and class ID. So, uh, number one, all right, this table over here, registration do not have a primary key. Number two, the registration table is supposed to have a composite primary key made up of these two fields, class and student. Right, so if you remember what composite primary key means is it is a primary key means that it cannot be duplicated or right, it must be unique but at the same time it is made out of more than one field okay so in this case the primary key will be made up of two fields the class and student okay now let's go to the uh okay let's go to the registration all right and I just want to look at the design view. So I got two field, right? and I want to set the primary key. How do we usually set primary key? Very simple. We just select the field we want, and we hit primary key. And we can see the small little primary key over here. So if I were to select the student, right? and I click primary key, the student become the primary key. But the primary key from the class is removed. Okay. But I want both of them to be the primary key because it's a composite primary key. So how do I do that? Well, to do that, first, you select a few that you want the primary key. Let me get rid of this first. All right. So let's say I select the class. Hold the shift. Uh, sorry, hold the uh, control and select the other field. So now you have two fields selected, class and student. Then only you click the primary key. Now you will see the primary key in both class and student. But let's test this. I already have some data. All right, so all right, let me save this. Okay, so I have some data. First of all, you will see that uh, SC all right, uh, is duplicated. No problem. All right. You can see 0, 1 is also duplicated. No problem. But what if I try to key in CC for class, student 0, 0, 1, again as a record, which is I duplicate this record. Let's try all right, so CC001, and I hit enter. See what happened. Read the message here. Duplicate value in the index primary key because this record duplicate the first record. All right, so this is how you create composite primary key in Microsoft SS.